Um, at present, there are 25 organic fertilizer producing companies with total capacity of 100,600 tons per year, which use poultry and other resources as raw material. We aim to improve the supply, encourage our product through advertising and research more to compete these companies. Now, channeling the fund. If we were to win this prestigious company, we'd allocate the fund as follows. 30% for initial investment, 25% for operation and maintenance, 10% each for distribution center, marketing and human resource, research, 5% for research, and uh, the remaining for security deposit. We plan to further set up plants in districts with large number of poultry farms like Chitwan, Kathmandu, Dading, and Kaski. Our idea is scalable to countries having large poultry industry. In this way, we would like to make a small dent in solving the problem of fertilizers, encourage organic farming, and pave the path for suitable future. So your time is over, so we move to question and answer session. Yeah, question from our judges, Mr. Baker. Um, yeah, so, so one question I suppose might be around sort of accreditation. So, you know, if you are encouraging transparency around the quality of of the farming the food stuff and the fertilizer is it other have you got any plans to sort of i guess certif certify the people who use your fertilizer yes definitely sir um we are actually now in idea phase and so i think that uh, the most uh, our most challenge is uh, maintaining the same quality of fertilizer and for that We'd hire uh, technical persons to uh, technical persons to test our fertilizer before supplying, and we'd also like to um, research furthermore to maintain the qualities. Uh, Mr. Surya, <clears throat> okay. My my brief question is, what 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 is the existing situation the, for this poultry waste is? Uh, now it is being used for the organic farming, as I understand. So what is the extra improvement you are doing? So what is this evaluating yes, the as compared is, to the existing, uh, existing situation? As compared to the ex existing situation, um, the current uh, process is very long and uh, the processed raw manner, which at market is uh, is not quite effective due to its, uh, and what we do is we uh, we raise the quality by reducing it into pellet firms and also increasing the nutrition uh, quantity around uh, twice the current market uh, manner. Sir. Mm, we move, I move to another other judge, Mr. Arif. Green, ma'am. Nothing from me. Nothing from me. Good to go. Is Ari sir about to ask question? So I think uh, if anyone from George have questions, then we can ask. Otherwise, we will move to next team. I'm okay. Okay. So I would like to move to next team. Team Demeter. Uh, since uh, since our judges did not have any questions, so I had to move to next team. So team Demeter, are you here? Uh, if you are here, then please raise your hand. How many, how many teams are left? Suprema, can you tell me? Yeah, ma'am, please, please give me a minute. I will provide you the list. We are, we are on time. It's 3 p.m. already. Okay, ma'am, please give me a few minutes. I will provide you. As soon as Team Demeter arrives, I will let you know. Team Dim, if Team Demeter is not here, Team Vitamin N4, are you here? Yes, we are here. Okay, you may start now. Ma'am, I will provide you the list. 
So the problem is in the context of Nepal, being an agricultural country, the status of agriculture has not been quite good. We have been facing a lot of problems regarding it. We are over dependent on market products. As a result, we are the victim of price high cat shortage. There are limited space for farming, especially in urban areas, hence food production is discouraged. In this context, rooftop farming has been solving problem at some point, but it lacks proper management and sales. So we aim to bring an online platform, uh, either it be an app or a website where rooftop farmers and customers can meet. Uh, people can buy or sell organic products and their derivatives. Uh, we will be collecting unused recyclable items, recycle and advertise for their sales. There will be availability of manpower whenever needed for service like product delivery or roof farm setup. People can share their experience through blog posts like new ideas or tutorials. There will be availability of agricultural materials, uh, seeds or tools in collaboration with different stakeholders. So we are focusing on homemade uh, pickles, uh, recycle, re recycling bins, uh, indoor plants and cozy vegetables. So what are the advantages? There will be direct connection of buyer and seller uh, buyer and seller. So the, uh, we provide the right for Koshi farmer to decide price for their products. Hence, this will create healthy competition between the farmers. Uh, and this will encourage people to grow their own food and be self-dependent. Uh, naturally, uh, rooftop farming will add beauty and freshness to the house, uh, thus reducing the greenhouse effect. So we fetch some data and analyze it. So as per the World Bank, the cultivable uh, land in Nepal is in decreasing trend. And people are shifting from the agriculture sector to non-agricultural field. And according to the, the Nepal Labor Force Survey, seven, in 2008, 73.9% people was engaged in agriculture, whereas in 2018, it decreased to 60.4%. That means people are uh, migrating to urban areas. And if we analyze the uh, Nepal Labor Law Force Survey, uh, published by Central Bureau of Statistics, we found out that 66.4% of people in urban areas are engaged in household works, which is not the uh, direct source of income. but if they are engaged in urban farming, then they can be self-dependent and can earn some revenue. So this is one of the case study done by ENPHO, Environment and Public Health Organization in Kathmandu Metropolitan City. They analyzed that the current demand of compost manure is 63.3 tons per day for rooftop farming, whereas the estimated total potential compost production in Kathmandu is 160 tons per day, which proves the feasibility of this urban farming. Uh, so these are some news regarding the possibility of rooftop farming in the present and in the coming future. So talking about business or revenue model, we will be uh, charging for online delivery service uh, and uh, by selling recycle and uh, other products, we can earn some money. So people can, for the mentoring and training session, people are charged uh, and the user can also boost their pro uh, products by paying the charge. At last, if we are not um, able to meet up the expense, we are adding subscription charge for the users. So these are our di direct competitors in current scenario. So <clears throat> what we found the common problem in them is that they are shadowing the Koshi farmers, but we aim to bring them in the front line. So <clears throat> these companies collect the products from farm and they collect in their warehouse. And as per the order, they deliver the product. But in our context, the buyer can order the product and the seller has to accept the confirmation and the buyer has two options, either go to the seller and pick up on own so as to minimize the cost or use our delivery service. They don't have time. So, and another feature is that the Koshi farmers can hire another Koshi farmers for initial farm setup or any other mentorship session. And the farmers can also sell their own recycled products in our platform. So talking about roadmap, we will be building network with Koshi Farmers from social media marketing at first and then providing guidance and mentoring to beginners and attract the experienced farmer in our business and then only start selling their products. And then naturally we will scale up more. So talking about expense, we analyze around 32,000 USD dollar for uh, one year in different domain. But what if we lack fund? So in the con if we lack fund, we will be depending on, uh, we'll be cutting off the delivery vehicles and depending on third party uh, delivery service. And uh, for the rest expense, we can cop up. So thank you. This is our project, team member. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, we move to judge's question. Um, yeah, go ahead. Somebody was just speaking. 
Yeah, hi. Um, I'm just curious to know, it's an online platform. You Have you all thought about the installation or the or different types or design, conceptual designs for rooftop gardens for these um, individuals? Hello? Hello? Yeah, I please. Uh, I didn't get the question. Can you repeat, please? Sorry, I, I, I know one of these services is the online platform. What I'm asking is, have you all thought about the actual building or conceptual designs of, in, of building and installing um, rooftop gardens for customers? So there are other companies we have been talking to. Uh, so basically, at first, we will be providing guidance to the beginner. That means uh, what uh, for the... Uh, for the initial setup, we'll be providing mentoring uh, mentoring session. Uh, so this will be task, and uh, for the output product, we'll be delivering the products, uh, and the buyer can actually directly go to the seller to uh, to cut off the uh, delivery charge. Okay, thank you. Okay, so just another another question. I think there's a. If we think, you know, presumably we're getting very, very small, like plot sizes. Um, initially, it won't be particularly dense, the network. So I think there's there's a big difference between us, you know, a, a hobby market where you're supplying people to improve their, you know, the look of their building and house, etc., to actually creating a effectively a food market. Two very different things. So, so which one do you think has the biggest chance of success? So at first, uh, this is um, rooftop farming has been a hobby. So at first, uh, if they um, use rooftop farming for vegetables, they, then that might not be sufficient for them, so they can't sell. So at first, we'll be providing mentor, uh, mentoring session and encourage the rooftop farming. So if, uh, if uh, there is more pro output product that can be sold, then they can sell. But if not, then uh, we'll be selling the indoor indoor plants we'll be focusing on indoor plants as um, there are there are nurseries but there are there is not the chain of uh, individual indoor plant chain of individual indoor uh, planters so we'll be connecting them too okay. thank you questions from others are this as we still have time Okay, I don't think we have questions from judges. Uh, so I would like to move to next team. Uh, so the team uh, coding innovators, are you here? Okay, the coding innovators are here. So please, uh, organizing committee. Uh, Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Am I audible? Yeah, you are. You may start now, please. Yeah, you are. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And uh, it's loading, I guess. Okay, shall I start now? Yeah, yeah you can. We all know global warming due to greenhouse gas is one of the biggest challenges faced as a humanity in this century. We've seen it everywhere, and we also know the various reasons behind it. But what we may not know is that due to what we eat is the food we choose, and that is twice that of transportation. We use one person and habit. If a price that is even for such as use last days, this one person from the animal drug. 
there is a huge misallocation of sources just to fulfill our high calorie demand. This is the uh, picture of that I just said. You're, on, you're not audible. Uh, carbon footprint of an average human is 216 ton per year. And yes, that by 38%, just by changing. Hello? Hello? Now you're not audible. Can uh, yes, someone from the team? Can, uh, someone from the team. Can you repeat Can yourself? Yeah, your voice is on here. Can, Can you pass it to someone from your team? Uh, Please do it fast. Because uh, okay. Please make it fast. I will join up. Okay, after another team, shall I pause it now and join up? Please make some, please let your someone from your team continue because you've already uh, done for five, for um, about half time. So please, someone from your team <coughs> may continue. Okay, if not, then. Uh, I would like to sit to the next team. Yeah. Team, the focal point, are you here? Shit. Can someone from your team present? Then uh, you can continue. But your time is running out. So this. Okay, I would like to move to next team. The team, the focal point. Let them get ready again. And let's go with the other team. Yeah. Team, the focal point. Organizing committee, please unmute them. Can you unmute my friends? Please unmute Mr. Sumit and Mr. Prabhab, everyone from the focal point. You've been unmuted, yeah. Am I sharing my screen? Yeah, your screen is visible and you're audible too, so you know that. Okay, Proves, do we start it? Am I audible? Yeah, you are. You may start. Thank you. I would like to start now. A very warm greetings to everyone. We are the focal point and we bring to you Pakshala, restoring ethics in food business. And here's a question. How much do you pay for a vegetarian meal while traveling on the highways of Nepal? The results were like this when we asked the same question to around 100 people who <coughs> usually travel on the highways of Nepal. And this is a recent news saying that the food harvest from thousands of hectares of land are lacking a good market. And even if sold, farmers are not getting a minimum support price for their production. So the problems are customers suffer by having to pay an outrageous price for the foods they get in the restaurants and even for the prepackaged goods, while the farmers are heavily hit by the influence of middlemen in the supply chain. In addition to that, there is food waste a lot of time and the quality does not match the pricing. So how do we know that? This is all from the survey we did earlier on the same people. So why not solve them? Bakshala aims to provide hygienic and healthy food for the least possible price from its franchise of restaurants. We will also be charging for any avoidable food wastages. Uh, we aim to develop an uh, app, an app so that the customers should be able to look and book for the most suitable restaurant uh, from a built-in map provided from this application. 
they will also be notified with an alert system when, whenever the restaurants are full. And this uh, was found to be really convenient when we uh, performed the same survey on the um, same number of people earlier. So how are we going to do this? In the primary years of establishment, we aim to provide all these services from a single restaurant of ours. And in the years to come, we aim to develop direct connection with the farmers, uh, struggling farmers to be specific, and the restaurants who would like to join our lucrative franchise. According to our value proposition, the business seems to be highly suited for the customers, including budget travelers and group travelers whose customer jobs are to have a healthy and affordable food, see good food at reasonable price, save money, have a great time, and so on. So where? First restaurant is going to be on the Prithvi Highway of Nepal. And after the five years of extensive business with a good reputation in quality and pricing, we estimate that our cumulative profit reaches around 60 lakhs rupees or $60,000 uh, approximately so that we could upgrade to our own logistics and our own warehouses. This being possible with a profit margin of 30 rupees for each serving and uh, by, uh, by estimating a minimum customer of 100 to the maximum customers of 400 uh, per day. Here is a pictorial representation of our business, which shows the restaurants on the right, along with the farming section at the left. After the allocation of the required revenue, we will buy the trucks and storage space and eliminate the middlemen by direct contact with the farmers to acquire the food. Let's move on. Is this network chain of restaurants possible? Here we can see the map of the recorded restaurants and Kazagar in the route, which gives us the possibility of expansion of the network. How are we going to pull this off? At first, we should be known as a business, so extensive advertisements should be done. Second priority will be helping financially unstable restaurants. And third, we should also convince other restaurants to join the network. So convincing is the key. Business needs funds to operate. So we'll be connect, collecting funds from various ways. Rupees 50 lakhs will be required for the startup when consulted to one of the builders of that region. And majority of which will be spent on the restaurant itself and the remaining on extensive advertisement. We will be collecting the funds from various investors, angels, venture capitalist firms, and we will be approaching those investors who are already into restaurant businesses. Risk in business is inevitable. It could be due to political, social, economic, and technological aspects, listed as government regulation, inflation, lifestyle, alternative routes, internet of things. Now, if we win the 1 million, we will divide the funds into the into various categories such as 5% will be used for research, 10% for software, 20% for renovation, 20% for storage, 30% for logistics, and the remaining 15% will be reserved. Thank you. Thank you, Dean. So we have questions from judges. Hi. Um, one quick question. You guys mentioned um, that you'll have to do a lot of extensive advertisement and also convincing other restaurants. So what, what, is, the, what is the idea behind it? How do you all and, um, would like to execute that, that advertisement and convincing other restaurants? I would like to answer that. Sure. Sir. As we know that the present uh, pricing in the highway is quite, uh, on, uh, it's not ethical as we know to our knowledge and there should be some changes, drastic changes needed in the pricing uh, that, that should be, uh, be it on the food, prepared foods or even the prepackaged goods. And since it's been stored in the sentiments of people that they are being uh, highly charged for the food that is really undecent act. And so we can, uh, directly approach the uh, either via their emotional, uh, what do you say? Uh, the, we can approach them emotionally by saying that uh, we will be providing the uh, what you, the food uh, according to 
how you deserve the food should be priced. So I, I guess that's going to help. And of course, convincing is really necessary because uh, no restaurants are going to be cutting down their prices uh, and following our guidelines. So yeah, we, we hope, uh, we expect that uh, our uh, less uh, income and good quality food will uh, attract others market into us. So uh, we can convince others to join us. And for advertisement, uh, we can have pamphlets and uh, other stuffs, uh, boards or so on. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. The, so what is, the, what is the broader impact? I mean, what I'm hearing is a description of a, an inefficient market and you having a plan to, you know, to make it better to offer a premium, you know, premium healthy food and, and in, in an overpriced market. So what was the broader impact here? Well, sir, first and foremost, uh, almost uh, more than uh, 150,000 travels, uh, uh, vehicles traveled along a single uh, Prithivi Highway Road and uh, uh, people who travel in that road are not getting uh, quality food. So the broader impact would be that they will have uh, quality food on a lot less price than what they have to pay right now. The food will not be wasted. It will uh, be utilized according to the app. They can reserve it earlier. So there's uh, less chances of uh, any food wasted. And yes, that can help in all aspects. So not, which, sustainable, not... which sustainable development goal are you contributing to? Sorry? Which sustainable development goal are you contributing to? Well, uh... you didn't. You didn't get it. Okay, I mean, uh, let me tell you. Let me tell you which which sustainable goal you are targeting, right? Because because we're not sure here that what is your concern: the less price of our food, or the wastage of the food, or the food itself, or the quality food. So you were talking about three problem here. All right. So yes. which one? Which one is your your target and what are what is your SDG goal? Which which SDG goal you are targeting right now? Well, our target is mainly to uh, lessen the uh, income uh, economy or lessen the price of food, so that uh, the market as a whole, as a whole, every uh, restaurants would be compelled uh, to charge less and uh, uh, to um, you um, to waste their food less. That is our primary goal through our extensive franchise, others should know that with less income, they can also get profit as well as uh, uh, save food, not waste there's it. A, there's a noise coming in. Uh, Mikesh, right? Mikesh, yes. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure if you know the term. When it comes to quality, the price doesn't matter. So if you're working on the price, how you are targeting with the farmers to connect with the restaurants, you know, it's pretty confusing right here. We plan to eliminate the middlemen who... Mm. I'm sorry, your time is over uh, the team. So we have our advisor here with us. He is Professor Jagan Nath Shrestha, academician at NAS. Namaste, sir, and thank you so much for advising us. And thank you so much for helping us make Hall Prize better even. I hope you're liking the ideas of our participants. Thank you so much. So next team is the Unbreakables. So team Unbreakables, are you here? Uh, the team Demeter is presenting right now, not the unbreakable. Can you please uh, enable screen sharing? Okay, you are already made post. You can share the screen. Uh, am I visible? Audible? Yeah, you're audible. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are Team Dimita, and we present to you 
Lin Garden, offering accessible and affordable nutrition. To understand the gravity of the nutrition problem in Nepal, we need to look at the price and availability of nutritious foods. These foods are a rare occurrence in the table of more than 30% people of Nepal, while about 10% can't even... Hello? Can't even dream of them. It is very difficult to cultivate these nutritionally rich foods, and these foods require extreme care and a specific climate to grow. Lean Garden provides a simple solution, an automated climate-controlled uh, semi-portable device which users can use to grow their own vegetables. This allows them to save money on nutritious food while simultaneously enabling them to make money from the surplus. The nutritional foods market exceeds $1 billion in Nepal. More than 20% of this market consists of nutritional vegetables. We aim to target 10% of this market segment. Our market segment is among, among the 6 million urban population in Nepal. It consists of 1.5 million urban households, more than 2,000 restaurants and party palaces, and above 2,000 housing and apartments. Our product, the Lean module, is very easy to set up and use. Place the Lean module at home, order beds of nutritious vegetables. The Lean module grows the vegetables. You simply need to either consume it or sell it to us. The Lean, uh, the Lean module is a semi-portable automated device uh, with temperature, humidity control, and air purification. You can think of it as an automated mini greenhouse. It covers 1.2 square meters of space and can operate throughout the year. It can grow mushrooms and microgreens at less than 50% of the micro uh, at the market price. The device can produce $70 worth of button mushrooms. Our conversations with experienced individuals has made us realize that giving technology to users isn't enough. So we work with partners and develop an ecosystem to give an end-to-end -end support and services to our users. We add the value from aggregated uh, mushrooms through the process of segmentation to fine and non-fine mushrooms. Fine mushrooms will be packaged while the remaining will be supplied to pickle manufacturers. We will partner with banks and cooperatives to help users buy our module in an EMI plan. The users pay $50 upfront and then $20 as monthly installments. The user can pay the EMI in a uh, in around a year by using the profit made from the surplus. The user then earns a steady profit of $17 monthly. After completely uh, paying the EMI, each user earns more than $200 yearly in Nepal. Each user will have consumed more than $165 worth of vegetables and yearly amounting to 1.488 kg protein. Our financial analysis and prediction shows that we will reach uh, a break-even point at about 1,500 active users. So let's... Uh, Look, them, uh, go to market plan. We aim to go to market initially by using these modules in restaurants as our marketing strategy. Their novelty and fresh vegetables production will capture our first group of users. We'll use referral marketing to then further increase our users. We'll also be partnering with financial cooperatives to, to sustain our users' EMI. Word of mouth is a crucial part of our marketing. Our major competition is the environmental controlled greenhouse, which is both expensive and large. The other competitor is a China-based company, High Point, with its MI302 module. Even though it's smaller than the traditional greenhouse, it is very expensive and provides minimal features. Our Lean module is both small and affordable. We have multiple advantages over our competitors. The Lean module will, will be the first climate-controlled semi-portable device of growing mushrooms and micro uh, microgreens. Customers can earn money from the surplus harvest. Little or no effort is required uh, suitable for busy people. Controlled conditions mean a consistent production throughout the year. The key partners include agro consultancies, universities, and independent researchers, NGOs, INGOs, delivery companies, and banks and cooperatives. Key suppliers include uh, seed distributors, containers, chemical uh, distributors, and compost suppliers. We aim to channel most of the $1 million to research and development and lean model manufacturing. We will allocate $100,000K uh, K for marketing and $200,000 uh, as a reserve fund. The Lean Garden ensures passive income, good health, and well-being. It, uh, it enables affordable nutrition and utilizes food waste. It also de uh, decreases the burden of meat. And this is our team, a mix of highly talented individuals with knowledge and experience in a diverse array of fields. So let's look at the video. This is the lean model. Device you can use to grow mushrooms and microgreens in pubs. You can buy the module on a full down payment plan or an EMI plan. You can order trays through phone calls or through our. Your, your voice is really low, mister. So can you please raise your voice? 
After harvest, we can exchange the used grains for bread. Question answer from judges. Uh, Okay, I'll kick off with one. So the, you mentioned restaurants as a sort of first segment. Um, I guess the challenge with restaurants probably is that they need high volume of whatever they're selling and they probably don't have much space. So just a challenge to that. In terms of sort of users, consumers, if you like, then I guess a challenge to that may be the 250 down payment. I don't know how big the market is for people who can afford that. But I guess if you ran a financing model against that, uh, yeah, sort of microfinance, that might be sort of interesting. So I guess, please, could you just elaborate on the sort of two segments you're thinking about starting with? Can you please repeat the question? So there's uh, the, the last part, actually. Talk about your customer segments. So restaurants and then like users, right? So just, just expand on why you think those are good choices. Yeah, so while, uh, okay, thank you, thank you for the question. So while we uh, while we'll be prototyping our product and uh, then we'll be releasing it in beta version uh, in the restaurants. So restaurants uh, really require high volume of production. So um, because our uh, lean module will have multiple levels of craze, so the restaurants can uh, prepare the mushrooms or they can uh, uh, harvest the mushrooms according to their uh, daily needs. So uh, it is estimated that uh, around uh, 24 kg of mushrooms can be grown throughout the month. So the rest, we will actually be using uh, restaurants as a marketing tool. So people will go to the restaurants and they will see the project uh, product and they will look at them and uh, they will be interested. So we are thinking about that. So while the product is in beta version, so restaurants actually uh, will be used as our marketing model. Okay. Question from other judges. Um, one quick, just one quick question. Um, out of curiosity, can mul I know you all guys mentioned mushroom microgreens herbs. Um, can multiple at this prototype stage, can multiple um stuff be grown in one of these modules? Please, could you repeat the question? Can mul can you grow a tree of mushroom microgreen or herbs within one module or? Or yes, module. Same module. yes, the same module. So, uh, okay, let me go to the uh, screen. Okay, so as you can see, uh, that our module is divided into a number of trays. So, in the in different trays, different kinds of uh, mushrooms and uh, microgreens can be produced, given that uh, some uh, factors are taken into consideration. So, this uh, this is the image, and you can see that we can put a number of trays in there. As uh, you were having some difficulties in your presentation, so you will be given one more minute uh, for question answers. So judges, as, as they were not able to complete their presentation, so you will be given more one more minute. So please, uh, judges, if you have questions, then you can ask. Or Mr. Sisir, uh, would you like to continue, please? Then please continue, you have time. Okay. Uh, so, sorry, this is still Demeter, is it? Yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, yeah, a question perhaps while you're looking at the slides is would be around maintenance. So is there expected to be significant maintenance of this? What's the maintenance yeah, schedule? We will provide uh, a warranty of two years uh, to our consumers. By then, uh, our consumers we will have already paid the EMI and will have earned more than $200. Uh, and then, uh, uh, will not require so much of maintenance uh, in the mechanical system. We might require some uh, maintenance uh, in the electronics part. And we provide two years of warranty. Yeah, thank you. Hi, this is the Lean module, a device you can use to grow mushrooms, microgreens, and herbs. You can buy the module on a full down payment plan or an EMI plan. You can order trays through phone calls or through our app. You will be notified before the delivery.
After harvest, you can exchange the used dress for credit points. Similarly, West food in your home can also be exchanged for credit points. The credits can be used to buy new trays. We will also buy your surplus harvest for a reasonable price. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, I hopefully you presented it well. Thank you so much. So next team, uh, vitamin N4. Uh, one, one request to next team. So while presenting, please turn off the automation. It is on the top of the Zoom link. So turn, turn that off so that no one is able to automate your screen. Please do it before starting your pitch. Can you please repeat? So can you hear me? Mr. Jai, can you repeat what you said just now? Okay, uh, actually, sorry for, uh, please turn off the automation before starting the presentation. You know, like uh, when someone present in the Zoom, there's a feature called automate. So turn that off so that no one will able to automate on the presentation. I think it's, it's clear or not. Okay, team vitamin N4, please go ahead. Uh, am I audible? Yes, you are. Okay. Uh, no. Hello, IOEL Prize. Hello, judges. We are from team vitamin N4. We are presenting our project model on uh, project title Organify in the theme of Food for Good. Basically, our project delivers the daily food grains, vegetables, fruit oils, pulses, milk, organic meats, fish products, etc., uh, excluding the junk and fast foods. Uh, we have the following outlines. Uh, understanding the problem, proposed solution, feasibility and scalability, and channeling the $1 million budget. So let me stop this annotation. Uh, So, so we can see some uh, uh, annotation in our skin. Can you uh, please uh, uh, check that? So I will click the annotation. So am I supposed to uh, that clear? Turn that off. So like, yeah. I can, I on the top of the screen, there is a button. Yeah. So uh, uh, sorry for sorry for the trouble, but you know, some useless people. Are so I can see annotation. So am I supposed to uh, click on that? Click on that and uh, click off that. So I can find that option to turn it on. Yeah, now clear it is. No, it's clear, but uh, it's still not of the annotation part. And someone is uh, repeatedly uh, writing something in our presentation. We humbly request whoever is doing this to stop doing it. Please let our presenters have their time and please respect uh, their space. So, uh, uh, organizing committee, can you please help uh, us to off this annotation? I can see the annotation, yeah. but I'm still uh, trying to see which part uh, we are supposed to uh, put this up. Mr. Jai, would you like to demonstrate it once so that uh, it's okay. for our other okay. uh, yeah. So actually, uh, please, after, so Sekhar, sorry for the you know, like trouble. So when you present in the screen, you know, like on the top of the screen, on the top, there is one feature. First present, I will guide you step by step. So and I saw, other teams. So I okay. saw that, option, but uh, there yeah. are uh, there is no uh, option to turn it off. Actually, there is. I think you didn't find it. Can you please uh, quickly? Uh, okay, okay. So mm -hmm. okay, uh, go on the more option. So I'm stopping presentation, and after that, uh, sorry. Uh, so please start your screen sharing. I will guide you. First, start. 
देखा या गो टू द मोर ऑन द राइट मोस्ट देर इज ऑप्शन कॉल मोर क्लिक ऑन दैट तो मोर इस आई क्लिक द मोर दैट थ्री डॉट्स कॉल मोर यस या एंड देर इज डिसेबल ऑटोनेशन डिसेबल पार्टिसिपेंट ऑटोनेशन या हैव यू टर्न दैट ऑफ दिस वे आप टर्न दैट ऑफ या नाउ यू कैन स्टार्ट या इट इज इट इज टर्न ऑफ नाउ नो वन विल एबल टू ऑटोनेट सेकंड Could we uh, uh, restart our presentation? Yes, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Take your time, please. Yeah, thank you. I would like my teammate Ravi to continue. Uh, thank you, Sekhar. Uh, hello, IOU Hall Prize. Hello, judges. Uh, we are from Team Vitamin N4. We are presenting our project model on topic uh, Organify in the theme of Food for Good. Basically, our project delivers the daily food grains, vegetables, fruits, oils, pulses, milk, organic meats, free, fish products, etc., excluding the junk and fast foods. We have the following outlines: uh, understanding the problem, proposed solution, feasibility and scalability, and channeling the budget. So, basically, understanding the problem, uh, there is less reach of organic food to the end consumers. an unreasonable cost of the food for the most of consumers globally the ground level farmers entrepreneurs are being discouraged uh, by food corporate giants to compete in the market so these are a major concerns of problems uh, traditional existing food systems we can clearly see there are lots of middle agents uh, in uh, before farmers are uh, the food products are being produced by farmer reaches to the end consumers so this ultimately results the increase in cost and decrease in quality of food uh, so for this we have the proposed solution as setting the system to establish the connection between farmers and consumers excluding the unnecessary middle agents which ultimately results the uh, reduction in uh, food cost by significant amount Col collaboration between uh, different authorities and uh, maintaining the uh, uh, in uh, Uh, standard guidelines to assure the food quality our ultimate goal is to incorporate uh, organic foods to all and it is an ongoing process with high research and development to optimize for the best solution uh, we have broad map as uh, in stage 1 farmers can connect uh, with the system by enlisting their products to the online system uh, connecting with us offline uh, as well for verification in stage 2 the quality control departments test the organicness uh, of the food product if uh, it passes the test then it can be added to our system otherwise the farmers are trained by our uh, system uh, the organic uh, in stage 3 the organic uh, food products are added to our online and uh, offline system uh, as per location uh, in stage 4 the consumers can search uh, for their required uh, food and can order uh, and in final stage it says 5 as per the request or order of consumers the food products is delivered for the next part i would like to continue uh, sekhar thank you thank you so for the uh, diagrammatic representation of our proposed solution business model uh, we can see farmers entrepreneurs uh, being connected with the consumers via our uh, platform organify The organify system has quality control uh, to uh, verify the uh, quality quality and organicness of the food products from farmers and uh, providing with a necessary training as per the requirement so organify has online portals and offline channels some are basically categorized uh, based on location for faster access uh, similarly offline channels has local holdings and uh, logistics Uh, similar uh, we will be collaborating with uh, policy makers local authorities uh, to for the price assurance of the food products uh, similarly we have a microfinance unit to support the farmers entrepreneurs uh, as they get connected to our uh, system uh, to uh, to support them in their farming as per their credibility we provide uh, them with the loans as uh, as required so for feasibility and scalability scalability we will be implementing the proposed solution from smaller geographical location 
and after the success will be scaling up to national and global scale uh, it is very much feasible in terms of setting the online system and uh, uh, in case the online system is not feasible we will be setting uh, uh, setting the offline system uh, health assurance of consumers being uh, one of the top priority we will be uh, collaborating with the industrial authorities and government bodies uh, to uh, implement the industrial uh, standard guidelines accordingly time is running out mm. uh, so market size uh, we can see forecast uh, global market size of organic food uh, as uh, 160 billion dollar for 2020 and 399.4 billion dollar for 2027 so for asia pacific uh, it is uh, 15.8 billion dollar uh, for nepal it is 31.08 uh, million dollar and our target market that is Italy it is 0 0.404 million dollars so our revenue model is market marketplace model so for uh, channeling the 1 million dollar we'll be allocating our resources on setting up online and offline channels as for the proposed solution uh, there are other costs for example server costs maintenance cost and other database cost quality cost recurring logistic cost research and development cost manpower cost uh, required training cost marketing cost and finally risk uh, management cost to cover any risk factors so these are our tentative budget budgeting we'll be allocating uh, th uh, these 35 uh, percent on one-time cost uh, similarly 18 percent on quality control manpower cost uh, 12 percent recurring logistic cost 10 percent marketing cost 10 percent and risk management cost as uh, 15 percent so thank you so we, we would like to any questions, queries, we are open for that. Do we have any questions from the judges? Yeah, same same question as, as for a couple of others. It is in terms of impact, um, how are you thinking about the impact that you're gonna have over and above your, your numbers? So about the impact. Okay, so what what did you ask? Uh, so uh, you asked about the impact. Yeah, the broader impact, the the social challenge that you're going to help address. So uh, we are basically targeting SDG of uh, uh, wealth, so uh, well being, health, and similarly industry innovation. Uh, we are trying to uh, bring organic food to the consumers uh, since. Uh, the use of excessive chemicals, it has created a long-term effect on our health. Uh, so uh, uh, removing the middle agents, a uh, farmer can get their uh, highest earning uh, selling to the consumers directly uh, via our platform, Organic Farm. I think we have one question from Mr. Arif. Yes, so we could ask uh, the uh, marketing, you have ten percent of marketing. So, have fully in models or so, uh, uh, I cannot hear the question clearly. So there is uh, some uh, glitch. Mm, so, your voice is a bit unclear. Mr. Yeah. Arif, we cannot hear you. No, sir. Uh, meanwhile, do we have questions from other judges? Mr. Arif, I'm sorry, I can't, we can't hear you. No, good for me. <laughs> Nothing for me. Mr. Arif, are you there? Yes. Uh, am I audible now? Yes. Arif, sorry? Yes, you are audible. Acha, uh, so the, the marketing cost that you showed us, like 10% will be spent on marketing. So where, from where this number is coming from, is that a like calculative number or just a random lump sum number? Uh, so as for our, so I would like uh, my friend. Uh, it is from estimated budget. Uh, whenever we have the budget of 10 million, uh, dollars. So we have estimated it for our uh, system by our secondary researches. Uh, 
um, I would like to continue, say, so any uh, questions? Hello? Um, I believe we do not have any more questions. So thank you. Let's thank move you. on to the next team. The coding innovators, are you there? Please raise your hand. The coding innovators. Please unmute. Hello? Hello, yes, we can hear you. Okay, sorry for the previous reason. Okay, I'll start. Uh, wait, let me share the screen first. So, is my screen visible? Yes, it is. Okay, so uh, namaste and good afternoon, everyone. We, the coding innovators, are here in HALT 2020 to present our idea for the theme Food for Good Problems. We all know global warming due to